Hello, I'm going to demonstrate and discuss the definition of pressure. Here we have an equation defining pressure. Pressure is equal to the force divided by the area which supports that force. Or P is equal to F divided by A. Here I have a block of lead and it's resting on the table. There's a certain cross-sectional area here the surface of this, uh, which will become the bottom of the block when it rests on the table, this is 8 inches by 4 inches, or a cross-sectional area of 32 square inches. So I've chosen an example here where we have an area of 32 square inches, and it turns out that this block weighs 26 pounds. Let's measure that just to be sure. That's a heavy block of lead. When I put it on a scale, it reads 26 pounds. So as that block rests on the table then, the block is pushing against the table with a force of 26 pounds, cross-sectional area, 32 square inches, and we divide 26 pounds by 32 square inches, plugging into this equation here, that gives us 0.8 pounds per square inch as the pressure on the table under the block of lead. Now, if we take that block and turn it on end this way, it turns out to cut the area in half. Now instead of four inches across, across the edge here that we had originally, we now have two inches by eight inches or 16 square inches, half of the area that we had before. So if we have the same force, block weighs the same amount, 26 pounds, but we cut the area in half that doubles the pressure, and when we put the numbers in, we find that the pressure now is closer to 1.6, or approximately double the 0.8 pounds per square inch that we started with. We can further reduce the area by putting the block up on end this way. That cuts the area in half again, and this time when we put in the still smaller area with the same force, we now get a pressure of 3.2 pounds per square inch, which is four times our original pressure as the block was on the flat surface this way. So each time we reduce the area, we increase the pressure. Illustrating that the pressure depends not only on the force, but also on the cross-sectional area. I can further illustrate that with this uh, block of wood and this bolt attached here. If I take this 26 pound weight and add it to this two pounds of block plus steel, I now have 28 pounds pushing down on an area of approximately 32 square inches. And it turns out that when we calculate that out, the pressure is 7 eighths of a pound. Pressure on this piece of styrofoam here due to the wood plus steel plus lead 28 pounds pushing down, the pressure is now about one pound per square inch. However, if I turn this upside down this way, and now I have a cross-sectional area of about one half square inch, so we're reducing the pressure, we're reducing the area significantly, but keeping the force essentially the same. I'm just using my hand here to balance this, I'm not pushing up. Uh, nor am I uh, I'm pushing down or, or up on this. I'm just balancing it here. So we have a force of about 28 pounds pushing down on a cross-sectional area of about one half square inch. That gives us a pressure of 56 pounds per square inch, which you can see is enough to put an indentation in this piece of styrofoam. So again, the pressure depends on the force and the cross-sectional area through this equation. That's the defining equation for pressure.